Okay, so here's a question I got. Um, this person has got their uh, this disc hook plate in here, and he's got this not only backwards but upside down. So how do we fix it? First thing you want to do is you want to make sure it extrudes out in the right direction. So that's going in the wrong direction, but maybe that's not the first thing. The first thing would be to be like yeah, fix the sketch. It needs to be rotated, uh, you know, from you know from this view so that the you know the bulk of this over here, the round stuff, is going to be in the top, and the pointy thing is going to be in the bottom for lack of a better word here. And what you want to do before you get started on this is go to the spacebar and check your orientation. That is supposed to be, or that's supposed to be the front here, but really this is the way it's supposed to look like from the front. So you want to make sure you have your orientation correct, and we don't. So let's go ahead and fix this. A couple different ways we could do it. We can right-click in the sketch, we're going to go ahead and edit the sketch. And then we're going to take the sketch and we're going to uh, make a block out of it. And we're going to rotate it. So that's one way of doing it. We're going to take everything here and uh, right click. And we're going to go to this button over here called Make Block. And then Insertion Point doesn't really matter where we put that, but conceivably we can take that insertion point, maybe put that up here where the origin is. Not going to make a relationship with the origin. It's just going to be there when uh, we insert that uh, block back into our model. So we're going to go to OK, go to the green check mark, and now you notice that everything is black. Or not black, but gray as if it was a sketch and a, um, you know, an item in here that has not been fully defined. What it is, if you look at this, we have a block inside of a sketch inside of a feature. It's like a, um, oh, I don't know, uh, you know, it's like a, you know, sketch within a sketch within a sketch sort of thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this uh, endpoint over here where it should be, and we're going to make a coincident relationship, as you can see over here, with the origin. Now we're going to spin this thing around. We're going to make that horizontal, and guess what? Now we're going to take that block like we might uh, do in AutoCAD, and we're going to explode it. So we're going to right-click on that, and she gives us those options down here. We're going to go ahead and explode the block. And so there it is. It's correct. It's right side up. It's where it should be on your origin, but it's not fully defined, and the block has disappeared too, by the way. We just use that temporarily to get, ooh, get what we need to get. So now you can see what we need to do. So let's do Control-Z. We're going to take this guy, we're going to make that horizontal. We're going to take that guy, we're going to make that vertical. Maybe that'll make it black and fully defined, which it does. And we're going to go to the green there, a check mark. No, we're going to go to the traffic light, because we already have a feature in here. And look, the block is all gone. And we're going to go ahead and rebuild that. But it still says our sketch is underdefined. So let's see what that, uh, what, what that is and what we need to do to that. So, oh, this isn't blocking here. What is that? So let's get rid of that. That's, uh, that. You know, that doesn't belong there. You need to uh, define this in a better way. So let's go ahead and move some of these points around and see what we might need to do. I think we have a 70 degree dimension here on top. Let's go ahead and put that in place between that line and this line. And if you get this uh, ordinate dimension uh, item or icon in there, let's make sure you do escape twice. We're going to get rid of that. So that's supposed to be 70 degrees. So I think that's uh, probably getting close. We have 33 degrees over here, and just double checking our dimensions, uh, this one over here should be uh, equal radius with this guy over here, so that looks like it's right. Let's go and rebuild that. So I got that minus sign. So what are we, what are we doing wrong here? Well, let's check our dimensions in here. That should be uh, okay. You know, it's got a midpoint relationship in here, and that's okay. Well, one thing you could do is you can take... Um, it looks like it's uh, correct otherwise. What we could do, and there's probably just like a loose point around here. Maybe it's this guy down here. Probably not. No, that looks like it's fully defined. But there might be another loose point in here too. One way to find that is to right click over here, go to fully defined sketch, and just click on all the alternate, all the default settings over here. Go to the green check mark, but watch what happens out here. It's got a dimension to something that might be kicking around out there. So we're going to go to the green check mark. And didn't do anything, but let's go ahead and rebuild this. And it still says it's underdefined. Let's do fit. See if we're looking at everything. Now it looks like we are. So just for the fun of it, fun of it let's go ahead and take, um, well, other things we could try too. If right click on a line, we can go to select chain and delete that real quick. And we're going to go to yes to all and see if we have anything left over. And we don't, so we're going to go to Control-Z, get all that back. 
And it just might be that point. It might be more than one point down here. So let's go ahead and take this point. We're going to go ahead and delete it. Pull this up a little bit. Or maybe take the midpoint of that. Select the midpoint of that. Go over here to our future flyout. Select the origin. We're going to make those coincident with each other. Coincident. Still says it's underdefined. But let's go ahead and pull on another point down here. Okay, so we're going to take the midpoint of this line. I mean, these are kind of the things you have to do. You have to go around here and just kind of have to kick it around and see what you need to do to get that fully defined. And bang, that's it. It was fully defined, or once we got rid of that uh, point in there, it is now fully defined. So now our base feature. And that, that's the way it is with these sketches sometimes. You have to, there may have been a relationship with, like maybe the end point of this line, but it may not have had a relationship with this line down here. It may not be apparent because it's not blue, that uh, point. At least it didn't look blue to me, but there's a lot of things you can do in here to check that. Select the chain, delete it, see if there's something left over, like maybe a stack line. Do a, a fully defined sketch. Uh, try that and see if there's some sort of dimension in there that's being placed that shouldn't be there. And then go ahead and uh, look at that uh, place, uh, you know, where that dimension was put after you uh, deleted it. And see what might be there. Maybe there's like an extra uh, line segment in there. Sometimes there's a little pony line in here that'll get dimension too. That uh, may not be apparent. But once you get that in place... Once you get that corrected, we're going to go to the green check mark, not green check mark, but rebuild. Go to our base feature, and now we're going to reverse the direction on that. Bring that out to the front, go to the green check mark, and now we have that in place. So that should correct your orientation.